deteriorate. Uh, we have to uh, become altruistic and help those that are misfortunate uh, as we go through this uh, reset of change. Well, my name is Dr. Lee Warren, I'm co-founder, co executive uh, and founder, and my wife is co-founder. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, really, this is about a two or three hour lecture. I'm going to have done about 40 minutes or less. Uh, all of this can't discuss, but we do every Sunday, every third Sunday of the month. We have uh, free, it's free, and, you know, over 1100 East 55th Street, it's called Financial Pre Preparedness. And what we talk and, and uh, do uh, is make you prepare for what's taking, currently and taking place today. And uh, in the world today, which most Americans don't have a clue to what's going on, and that's the uh, dollar bill that you got in your pocket. The only way it's really accepted in this country, only in this country, if you travel abroad, abroad or if you have a business that does international, you know you have a lot of trouble with your dollars. Uh, uh, as nations uh, begin to reject the uh, dollar as a worthless currency because the nation itself is bankrupt. The great American uh, empire that we are part of, for some, most of us is in our 40s and 50s, uh, we are the end of the world. That's a world ruled by mainly the Western powers, or what you call the so-called white powers, the former colonial nations that at one time ruled the world, when all the money and power has moved from the West to the West, to the East. That's the way it's been set up. And as a result of a corrupt system that is finally, you know, as, as President Lincoln said, you can fool all the people some of the time. You see what I'm saying? But you can't fool all the people what? All, all the time. I mean, you know, at some point people wake up and, and, and smell the coffee and see what we have in existence. And uh, that's what we have. Basically, uh, China is our largest creditor nation. Uh, we owe them about 1.3 trillion, I say billion, trillion dollars. Uh, and it's impossible for us to pay. We can't pay Social Security or Medicare as a result of malfeasance. I spent uh, some of my life as a portfolio manager for Sears Trust, and I understand what uh, malfeasance is. That's when you give somebody some money to invest for you, and they frittered it away frivolously. Now, if you've got a trust account, they messed that money up. The penalty at one time was imprisonment because you didn't, you didn't use the prudent, prudent rules of investment. Now, a politician in Washington had bankrupt the situation, and uh, we face uh, the system. There will be a reboot of the situation, and only those that made preparation will be able to survive. This happens many times before. This is not unique. Uh, and it happened once in 1971. We'll talk about that. There's been three global reset, two uh, that we have already. Global reset where the currency becomes uh, worthless and things take place. Sometimes some people know something about it, most people don't, but they do re receive the reflect of higher prices and the basic commodities, what we're talking about, fuel, food, and et cetera. As Sponsor says, uh, we're at a point where people are going to have to revert to growing their own food again. Uh, Monsanto and the food cartels, that's a monopoly. They dictate the policies, uh, especially in this country. That's the reason why you can't get, excuse me, GM, GMO food on your what? Labels. And they have, uh, Anytime that's come up in California, they have bought the process of the buying and, and, and fraud, uh, uh, should I say, prevent the process from going through. Uh, they know it's poor. Many nations have refused to uh, accept uh, GMO. And many of the products that we use here in America, they're not accepted abroad. So many people think, woo, 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 USA. The country's broken, it's totally corrupt. And you can find it out by looking at the food, and most important, the money situation, which they will soon find out. Because the rest of the world will not eventually accept uh, 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 payment for debtors. And if you don't believe that, just get a lot of debt. If you got a bunch of credit cards, next thing you know, they start being what? You're going to call from your credit card company saying that uh, you sold people in debt. You know what we're going to do? We're going to turn off the credit line. 
and then you pay down this work. Yeah. So you can down that debt. So that works for individuals, it works for states. And I don't know if you know this, uh, this past week, or this past week, or the last two weeks, uh, the city of Chicago's credit rate has been below the triple, That's right. triple B. That's three notches below junk. What junk bonds is, no pensions allowed to buy junk bonds. No bank can't hold. Nobody's willing to hold junk bonds. That's like somebody uh, uh, that, that you know is dead broke, and they want to write you an uh, IOU. Got no job and no what? No income. No income and no asset. Now you don't have any work. So let us begin here very quickly going through this process. That was uh, briefly an overview. And for those that are uh, uh, really don't understand, you will in time. And if you haven't prepared, you're in a pretty well sad shape. Now the scripture says this. It says the borrower is subject to the lender. So if you don't dictate your mortgage to your, uh, to your bank or your credit cards. Uh, so what we're saying here is that the uh, U.S. dollar is in crisis. Now as many nations that have gone broke, in other words, their currency becomes worthless in terms of international trade. Now, uh, this is not unique. Uh, uh, this is not uh, unique. Uh, uh, this is not unique. If you read the, in your Bible, if you read the 40, uh, that is 45, 17, 47, 15, it says, and when money fell in the land of Egypt, and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence, for, for the money failed. So it, so it shows you in the land of Egypt where Joseph interpreted seven years of prayer, seven years of uh, famine, that the money failed. So we had a nation where the money failed. And you'll soon find out, food prices are going up. And especially, organic food is going to get so expensive that the average person cannot afford, unless he has a garden, he grows his own, own uh, organic food. And what that means then, pe people are resorting to cheap food. And uh, to give you an example, that's why McDonald's, they will sell these dollar meals, two dollar meals. What, what, what do you think, what type of substance is in there? <laughs> they and, and don't have any nutritional value. So the money you got in your pocket, it doesn't have any nutritional value, like it used to be. It used to say, the dollar was saying, it's what, gold, no more. This stuff is worth it. All you gotta do is go to a supermarket and start looking at the prices and track them. You go to the gas station. And you go to the gas station and find out, because nobody's willing to exchange these paper dollars for real assets, and these assets, these paper money don't hold their what? Value. So you go to work every day, and you're ex exchanging your time and creativity for these paper notes. The ironic part is when they pay the notes, you come to find out that, wait a minute, I put in all these hours, this time, and my creativity in this company, and the money I get, I can't get a what, return on it. So actually, you've been, you've been reduced to a what? A slave. So that's the subtle effect of this uh, process. So, um, uh, Henry Ford, he once said this, he said, it is, it is well enough that the people of a nation do not understand banking and monetary systems, for if they did believe, there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. They would find out that the money is not backed by gold, it's just some ink that somebody has slapped on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and you place your trust and faith in something that's not even worth the papers written on. But that's the common game that's going on. But China and many of these other nations in the East said, you know what? We did all this work for you guys. We made these uh, products. We did this phony money. All right, we got some money. We take this, these paper dollars and start buying gold and real assets. And when this thing finally crumbled, who, 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 who you think going up on top? So uh, that's an indication of what we're talking about here. Is that what we're dealing with? Uh, okay, I won't be able to get through some of this, but uh, these are some of the uh, things that we have to do. The demise of the dollar. You got a record U.S. debt. You know, debt of scriptures always so associated with what sin. And the uh, Lord's prayer said, "Give us our what debtors." You think you think of uh, J. J. C. Morgan, uh, J. C. Morgan, and Bank of America? They, they committed this fraud. By taking the people's equity out of their home. The middle class only uh, store of wealth was their home and their 401ks. 
and they've been robbed of what? Both. Both. That's what's happening. And people will soon wake up. So we have um, uh, the U.S. Uh, reserve status. That means that America is the only currency in the world that you can go to, you have to use to buy oil. You know, that's what's set up by Kessinger and the Saudi Arabia. So in order to buy oil, you have to use the dollars. So if you had yen, the euro, or whatever currency, you had to exchange that for the dollar, and then you buy the currency. That's no longer taking place because China says, you know what? We're going to use our, our currencies, and Russia says the same thing. They have a, a trade pack in Washington. And see, one thing about Russia and China, can't nobody pull guard. America goes, knows that situation over there in, in uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. They, no, there's no bull guard there. It's not dealing with a third world country. So that's what you have here. You have uh, world leaders that have lost the trust in the U.S. dollar. We have commodities rising, gold, oil, coffee, you name it. That's a form of inflation. At one time, you could buy, uh, say, Blue Mountain coffee for eight or nine dollars. Say, 10, 10, 15 years ago, twelve years ago, in the in the nineties, about ten dollars for coffee. They don't even sell it by the pound anymore. It's like twenty dollars for a half a pound because they know nobody would pay twenty-four or thirty dollars for what? A pound. That shows you that there's inflation prices. So let's go out and buy a bag of potato chips for a dollar and see how much air you get. <laughs> you can understand what we're looking at here. Uh, so this is a process. As money values decrease, the size of products de decrease, because everybody's trying to stretch themselves to kind of survive here, because money doesn't buy what it used to buy. Uh, currencies, uh, then finally, we have currencies reset. We'll talk about that briefly. And the social uh, terminals. The reason we have social terms, you said, I don't understand what that means. This is a sophisticated uh, word. Look at Inglewood, the west side. If you go back 10 years, just say at the top of the real estate boom, you didn't have any drive bys you didn't have all this craziness because mm -hmm. everybody had a what? Job. Yeah. They had a J-O-B. And any time you find a nation where you have high unemployment, regardless of race, creed, and nationality, you got social what? Chaos. Yeah. You look at Greece, you look at Africa, you look at some of the Islamic nations, wherever their people are poor, they have problems. And everybody's trying to survive, so you, what? You feed, rob, what? Steal. Steal. And, 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 and they're just reacting at the uh, circumstances that you have existed today. Uh, so briefly, uh, I'm going to do a little quick uh, overview. Record U.S. debt. Here's the budget deficit uh, that's approaching uh, 16 or 17 trillion. At the time Obama gets out of the office, it'll be 20 trillion dollars. You know what people are saying overseas? They say, wait a minute, enough is what? Enough. Enough. You're running too much debt. Are you going to do a whole this paper? There's no gold or silver behind it. You, 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 you're nuts. And, and they have begun to reject it. You don't hear it in the news, but this is just the budget deficit. Wait till you find out what the, um, when you include Social Security, now, here's Professor Cockley off. He's a, a professor of economics at Boston University. He said, when you throw in everything, when you do a financial statement for, uh, say, for a bank, you're supposed to list all your assets and all your liabilities. In very small print, the bank will say, listen, to misrepresent a lie on this after you give your, your signature, it's a what? Oh. It's a felony. See, the banker said, listen, we don't play that. You go tell me what your assets are, and you tell me what your liabilities are. Now, you come here and lie to us, we don't put you in jail. See, because we don't play that. So, but yet, but yet the United States uh, government, they gives us a financial <coughs> statement. They say they're $19 trillion in debt. they $220 trillion in debt. And that means the debt is uncontainable. It can't be what? Hey, hey. It can't be paid. I mean, they always tell you, Chicago's dead broke. And, and, and they can't fix the potholes. <laughs> uh, eventually, they're going to talk about laying off police ones or cut service back. That's why people want to do concealed care. I'm just talking about how a nation begins right. to what? Break down socially, economically. And if the money don't flow, it's just like the blood of your body. And you find those neighborhoods where, uh, that are uh, uh, what they call poverty-stricken or low-income, there's a dead zone. 
There's no business, there's nothing there. You go to a place where they're furnished, like up in Lincoln Park, there's about, within one mile, I told my wife, there's about 10 grocery stores here. You figure out well, what they're doing, everybody realizes this is a high what? High end It's a high end, high income. That's the way, that's the way things work. But again, uh, that's the way things are set up. Uh, okay, I go through really world trust. Loss of trust in the U.S. dollar. You know, you can look this up on the, on the internet. Just do a Google, Google search. I won't be able to get through most of this. Uh, uh, here's the bricks. Bricks are not using the U.S. dollar. Who are the bricks nation? You probably very rarely heard that nation, that, 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 that term used. Brick, they stand for five nations. They call it the emerging nations or the nations of the East. B is for Brazil, R is for Russia, I is for India, C is for China, and S is for South Africa. They represent 50% of the world's population, uh, a little bit more than 50%, and of the surplus funds, I mean the money that you need for investment, $3 trillion is over East. All the Western nations are all what? They're all brain growth. They, 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 we're talking about the United States, England, uh, and, and, and all the Africa, I mean the uh, European nations, especially Southern Europe, Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, those nations did grow uh, as a result of, of the system that they have in place. That's the banking system. Uh, uh, so the world has lost trust in the U.S. of that. Uh, we talked about the BRICS. Uh, here what you have here is the headlines. Nations, headlines, nations no longer using the dollar. China, Russia quit using the dollar for trade. Uh, uh, and they bad out on the trade routes. You, uh, you can just look, begin to look this up. Uh, uh, now China says that China cut its U.S. bonds holdings uh, uh, by 48 billion by the most in two years. And buys what? They buy buying gold instead. So what the, we, in other words, we already got one trillion dollars of your currency and we consider it worthless almost, but we'll continue to buy what we can with the money. We'll go to, South, we'll go to Africa, we'll change these bonds for what? Mines, we'll take these bonds, we buy oil. We, we want to take these bonds, I mean, those U.S. bonds of money and buy anything that's of, of value, real value. Because we know this here eventually will cease to exist. And when it does, we're going to make sure we have real assets. Uh, that will continue on when well, this becomes totally uh, worthless, almost worthless. Uh, so that's China. Uh, uh, now the Fed is continuing the Federal Reserve. Let me say briefly, we do not have a money system in this country. What you have is a credit and debt system. That means for every dollar that has to come in existence, somebody has to take on what? Debt. debt. So this is this why it says a Federal Reserve what? Yeah. Note. See, you don't have any silver or gold. So if the debt was paid off, what would happen to the money supply? It would cease to what? It, it ceased to exist because it's only backed by debt. And that's one of the that's the trick that he reports said. Anybody understood this? He said, well, listen, this is probably one of the most maniacal system that the devil could ever dream of. And in addition to that, you can't say that they got the love of God or love of humanity either. Because you can see how they have wrecked these communities and caused so much havoc and trauma psychologically. Right. And people are still walking around in the days and they don't know what the hell is going on. Right. See, and if they don't have any gold or silver, or some way to exchange that, like food will be exchanged, as money fails, they'll be able to exchange either services for what? Gold and silver. Until the nations of the world have decided, besides the U.S., to go back to some form of gold standard, which was gotten off in 1931. Uh, and, then, and then when, when the U.S. took over, doing the Britain Wood after World War II, we was the first supreme power in the world. We said our dollar was good as gold. Uh, and people went with that for a while. In 1971, uh, Nixon took us off the gold standard. That means in terms of basic nations travel, uh, trade with one another. And France decided when they would trade, when, they had a surplus, when France had a surplus with the U.S., they said, listen, we're not holding, we're not holding no uh, dollars. De Gaulle says, you know what, I got $12 billion, you know what, at $35 an ounce, I want it in gold. And you transfer it over here, we ain't trusting you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have the, those of you that 
Remember the great friction between France and England, France and the U.S. That was what it was about. It was about that nobody trusted the dollar. And it's gotten worse since then. So this is what you're dealing with. And currently, to keep the system going after the collapse of the real estate market in the 2008-9, when, when Obama came in, the system was crashing. They created tons of money, $16 trillion, just building out, building out banks. Now, they didn't have any money to back it up. Real money, they were just printing up money to buy those nations, uh, to, to, uh, buy, to forestall nations from going bankrupt and from nations going bankrupt. Uh, so currently we're pretty quick about, I think, uh, I think about 75, 80 billion dollars a month. They just create money out of, out of the thin air. They buy mortgage bonds and they buy U.S. treasury just to keep the, the, the price of interest rates is at zero. That's why when you put $100 or $1,000 in the bank, you see the interest rate is 0 0.2. See, the United States has so much debt that they, they can't allow the interest rates to go back to 5 or 6% because they would not be able to pay the interest on the debt. Currently, the interest rates, we collect about 2.4, let's say 2.5 trillion dollars in income tax. That's the biggest source of income. They pay out roughly about 400 billion dollars in, uh, uh, in interest expense. And just say the interest rate went back to five or six percent, as it had in uh, 2000, 2004, four, five, it was, about, it was a, a, a five or six percent. If we was to go back to six percent, the interest rate would go to one trillion dollars. They only collect two point four trillion dollars. Hello, people say, "Well, listen, I want my interest paid." You said, "You can't pay it. Don't pay your credit card." They say for, that, for ninety days. They say you in what? D what? Default. Default. See, and you don't want this nation to go into default. And that's the problem that they have. They they broke, and uh, it says China cut. We talked about that. Uh, uh, we talked about the stimulus package. Uh, okay, now what they mean by a currency reserve, let me explain this, it's very simple. Most nations do not have, they have very little gold that backs their currency. What they, what they when you say U.S. currency, U.S. dollar is a currency reserve, that means most nations are holding U.S. bonds and treasury notes to back up their what? Currency. So, as you look at this chart, and you can tell at one time that nations had here almost 70% of their assets in the U.S. dollar. And you see it has went what? Declining. Oh, and when it started, it was about 1998, 19, 2000, around 2000 after the, uh, the so called 9 uh, 11, uh, 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 things started going what? Down. In other words, nations begin to sell their bonds and, and begin to start buying gold and other things. They say, listen, this ain't going to work. Because the nation, the nation that we hold their bonds, we are holding their bonds and we are backing our money by their bonds. And their bonds are going down and becoming worthless. That means our what? Our currency is going up and up. If you got somebody's holding somebody's IOU and they can't pay you, well, you, you have to, on your uh, asset, that uh, uh, promissory money to pay you has become what? Zero. So you don't have that asset no more. Well, that's what happened with the various countries. And they're moving out of dollars and euros, and they're returning it to gold, especially some of the Eastern nations. So you wonder what has happened to America. So that this is an important chart where it says that U.S. and euros uh, in nation currency reserves, and you see they definitely are declining uh, very rapidly. And uh, what's happening then, very briefly then, that means that if no one can buy our treasuries, the, the Federal Reserve buys 90% of the bonds that we need. In other words, America, when they make the budget, they are trillion dollars over the amount of their uh, tax revenue. So we collect about 2.5 trillion, we run at about 3.5 trillion. So with a trillion dollars over, the Federal Reserve pulls out a check, you know, and they said, wait a minute, this is, this is a Ponzi scheme. Hmm. So this is what you're dealing with, with the situation, and the world sees it, and they're looking at, they're looking at this thing and say, wait a minute, here's this great nation, it's continually going into what? Yeah. Debt. And at some point, that debt is something that you can live off a credit card, high and money for some time, but at some point, the what? The debt comes due, and you're in trouble if you can't have enough revenue to support the debt. This is what you have in America. 
Now what's happened is commodity prices, that means gold, silver, and oil, that's the reason why you're more likely to have $5 oil come uh, this summer for premium. We have 450 right now. So you can see that why oil, why is oil so high when, when, the, when the demand for oil in the United States has uh, diminished and in Europe because most people, a lot of people let it off. And then the only place is just China's got a booming economy, but then oil still stays up. Why? Because the dollar has begun to lose its value and they're raising prices, uh, the oil producers. Uh, now, let me show you what happens. Why is 10,000 Chinese? Why is 10,000 Chinese? Uh, uh oh. I can't do that. I can come back later. But look up the process where there's 10,000 Chinese that are buying gold uh, at that site. Okay, Chinese becomes the world's largest uh, buyer of gold in the world. Okay, this is a 12 year, uh, what should I say, 10 year, from 2012, from 2002 to 2012. What you have basically here is a particular chart on gold from 2002 to 2012. Now look here, the largest commodity, all you see on these college commodities are doubling and tripling. And what you have here is silver has went up seven times. Uh, uh, silver has went up seven times. Uh, here's coffee. Coffee is up almost two six. That's almost three hundred times. Corn is up what? Three hundred times. You know everything you cook got corn in it. Natural gas is up. Uh, it's, well, you got to over, you got oversupply that. But you got the, uh, gasoline. It's up almost three hundred fifty times. Almost four times. But these are the various commodities. Diesel fuel. See, it's up uh, two seventy. Almost three hundred percent. But what's the, this is showing you? Rice is up. You know it's a commodity. It's up three hundred times. That's why you had the uh, spring uh, riots over in Egypt. They said, listen, commodities jumped up so crazy. Why are the commodities jumping up so crazy? Everybody that's, that's got the 1%, they're buying these commodities and maintain their purchase, their purchase power of the what? The dollar. So you buy these commodities, they go up in price, and the poor man has to uh, buy them. And the next thing you know, in the third world, you spend 60 to 70% of, uh, 60 to 70% of, your, of your money on what? Food, you bankrupt. See what I'm saying? But well, these are the things that you have. Uh, I'll tell you about it. I was telling you about Moody, did what? Now, Moody uh, downgraded the U.S. The US government uh, in 2012. They, 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 they downgraded the American uh, USA bonds from AAA to a good level below. And uh, uh, the U.S. Justice Department went and investigated them. Say, listen, man, you're a bad creditor. Now you're gonna jump with a credit agency because you got bad, you got bad credit. That's, that, that goes to show you the story. It says, Moody downgrade Chicago's credit rating, the lowest of any major city except what? Detroit. 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 what? What did that tell you? Detroit, That's another city. In other words, this city is bankrupt. You know, if you don't believe, just try to call some of the streets out. They can't fix that mess. You know, they, they totally uh, uh, in there because the debt and the pension. We told people uh, approximately in 2003, we held this meeting, we said, got a real estate, uh, uh, this is nothing but a Ponzi scheme, and what they're gonna do is take these people's equity, and everybody's gonna live up their house upside down. If you got a big equity in your house, take it to buy gold and silver and wait for the collapse. Some people did it, some people did And you know what happened? You sit in the house and the bankers run away with your money. Mm. Now you and the house is upside down and, and they still acting for what payment? So, so you got a, a mortgage for five hundred thousand dollars and the house is only worth what? Two fifty. Hello? Can't you see something's wrong? And fifty percent of Americans are living in a house <coughs> that's upside down. So what do you do? Uh okay, we went to the commodities. Uh uh this is the commodities. And, and you know, here's Mr. Putin. What does he got in his hand? A gold, gold brick. He got a gold brick. See? And this is what the nations in the East are. Remember, most the Chinese were the first to, to uh, have paper money. And they thought it never worked. 
it never worked because you always print too much of it. And it wound up destroying the system. So they said, listen, we gotta go back to gold and as silver, because that's the only way of, 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 of establishing a system that's stable and cannot be abused. So uh, they have went back, the Americans, they didn't, they didn't live in line on that, but when, remember the, the golden rule, he who has the what? Gold rule. Gold. So when this thing finally collapsed, as I told them, uh, the, the, the average American, Mr. Chi and Mr. Lee gonna be your boss. Because they're gonna come and everything, because they got to go and say, I'm gonna buy that 10 cent on a dollar, 5 cent on a dollar, and that's it. See, they're, buying, they're already doing it. If you just look up China buying up real estate, uh, uh, they done bought banks, they bought the largest pork company, they're buying everything. You know, they don't, they're the largest buyer in Detroit. Right. See, That's buying up point. everything, and, and Americans walking around. Don't well, have a clue what's going on. See, uh, and here's uh, China, the, the great red dragon. Uh, uh, these are the nations that uh, they trade with, and most of those nations are trading in their own currency, and no one is trading in dollars. And the reason why Saddam, they jump on Saddam, because Saddam wants to sell his oil and what? Gold. Uh, uh, and gold or uh, maybe EU, Euros. And well, see, nobody's going to jump on China or, or, or Russia. So you begin to see how the system, the dollar based system, is falling apart. Now, I'm going to show you how currencies only last a certain time. Now most of us are African American. We go back to 1400s. That's when the European nations, the white nations came to the New World, am I right? You had slave trade. You know, slaves are nothing but a commodity. That's basically what it is, it's a commodity. Now again, the 1400s, Portugal was a major power and, and, and their money ruled the world. It became a, 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 a currency reserve. Everybody went to Portugal, money. Okay, we went on down to Spain. Spain became a very mighty, a mighty, uh, nation uh, uh, economically, because they went to what? Mexico with Cortez and did what? Stole all the silver. Stole all the silver, one of the largest the silver <laughs> highs in the world. Became a major what? Power, but they failed. Then, then, then the Netherlands became, a, uh, Holland became a major power. Remember, New York City was not first by England, it was called Amsterdam. Who yeah. first ruled it? The, the Dutch. The Dutch! The Dutch colony. See, see, the Dutch colony, see? And, they were not, and then finally we had France, then you had the British Sterling up to World War I, and then finally we went over to what? U.S. dollar. Oh, I know, that's supposed to last forever. <laughs> now, you've got a pattern here, and somebody says, I don't believe the dollar will fall. Just wait. It already has. You just haven't watched the what? The science. science. If you're urinating blood, you got a problem. See, if you can't see the science, that's on you. See? But that's a penalty for your ignorance. You don't, you know, there's a sign that says the gas station is flammable. You strike a match, you know, you don't violate certain laws. Well, there are laws of economics, there's laws of nutrition, there's all types of laws. You don't violate the law without impunity, and then you're going to escape. You fall off a, you fall off a building, the law of gravity says this man got six kids. Have mercy on it. It don't work that way. It's an immutable law. But what we have here, now this is what Jim Rickard had. He worked for a big, uh, hedge fund, and he went to the CIA and told them that the nations of the world are looking to preserve their assets, and at one point, they just may crash the system because they got the gold and silver, but this is what Mr. Richard said, gold prices will surpass, will surpass what? $7,000. They're about $1,200 an ounce now, an ounce in the inevitable global currency reset forecast. Uh, uh, there's a new book coming out, Currency Wars, the making of the next global crisis uh, at MD. Now he goes in to say that uh, he goes to say, Mr. Rickard goes on to say this. Mr. Rickard, he's the author of Currency Wars, and he says this. He says, Currency Wars record how global currencies have been have, uh, the global system has been reset how many times? Three. Three in the past. You didn't know nothing about it. 1914. What was that? World War I. 1939. Hitler went into what you call it. That's World War II. Currencies reset. 1971. We, we got off the dollar standard. The story the gold standard. The gold standard with, with, with Nixon. So you said, well, where is all this going? Uh, making this long, short story, the bankers broke the system. And I'm gonna have Don to go up here for a moment and fix this, and I'm gonna have to make a quick trip because I have a little problem with that water. <laughs>
basically, I, I, I gave you an overview. What I'm saying is that every, that last chart I showed you, started with Portugal, how all nations' currency eventually what? Failed. Failed. So what was happening now, during this reset, what will happen? Well, the currency that you have will probably lose 80% 80, 80 of the money. Between 70 and 80% of the money. Everything will be reset. And it'll happen one weekend, you'll be out partying somewhere, and whether it be Obama or somebody that come on the news and said, uh, the nations have been together, they have reset, they value the dollar, and that's reset. And what that means is that if you got, say, 10,000 in the bank, let's just say it's 80%, let's say 70%, you lose automatically $7,000. You got $2,000 in your bank. Three. Yeah, $3,000 in your bank. Mm -hmm. uh, you were making, just say, 70%, just say you were making $14 an hour. Say, now, you, now you're down, you lose 70%. They say you're making 20%. 70% of 20 is what? 14. Now you're making $6 an hour. Because all wages are cut by what? 70%. That means the real estate market does what? Cracks. Right. Everything loses 70%. Except the folks that have the what? The gold and silver, the commodities. They just go crazy up. So you hearing around, looking around, well, listen, I got to work for $5 an hour, $6 an hour. A trade guy that's making say 50, he got to go to 15. Everybody, everybody's cut down. So eventually, as all currencies are eventually reset, what does that mean? That means now that American workers are the lowest paid in the world. So that means all the business have come back to America now <laughs> because we now are, 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 are cheap what? Cheap labor. We're cheap labor, labor again. See, so that means that only those that have the gold is going to be able to what? Rule. The rule, and that's what's, that's the basis of the whole process, folks. They're going to impoverish the middle class as a result of that. And then, you know, that's, that type of trauma will wreck certain neighborhoods. You know, the, hmm. We've already gone. You know, most of African Americans are gone. Well, yeah. These are wealthy white neighborhoods that will eventually do what? Crash. My mother-in-law, listen, she graduated with a spellman. Uh, in the 1930s, I think it was. And she said when she moved up to um, Connecticut, at that time they said, we ain't allow no niggas or colored folks up here. Uh, 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 but she slept in the train station because she went all the hotels. But she finally became a servant in some of these rich white folks' homes. When the market crashed, she said half those villas went what? They became empty. The white folks lost all their money. Again, this is what we're talking about. These resets have, America has always had a history of currencies and, and, and dislocations. And the way that you're able to withstand this is to be able to uh, prosper in those situations, is to be able to have, the, as I say, silver. Silver was the money uh, uh, that will have the largest uh, uh, return. And you're going to bother with that to buy property uh, or whatever you use. And I'm going to say, say this right here. Real estate will boom again. It'll be so cheap that they will start giving these houses away. Just like they did in the hood in the, in the 1980s, when Reagan uh, 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 deregulated the savings and loans, they did the same thing. They deregulated the savings and loans. The savings and loans went bust. They had all this property on the um, market. On the market uh, by the government owned in this resolution company, and they started selling phone houses on the market. And Mayor Daly, who was the mayor then, that's, what, that's how blacks got into real estate because if you can buy a house for what? A dollar. A dollar. Because with so many neighborhoods, but it's going to go right back. They do the same thing over and what? Over and over. People just cannot catch it. You know, the seasons of fall, winter, spring. That don't change. It don't alter. But they can increase in intensity. It's, 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 it's a winter or a record with snow. Well, that's, that's the same way we have no record. Debt. We got more debt now in, 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 in the Depression than we had back then. But there will be opportunities for those that have a vision that have some type of insight, you know, that can and will be able to survive and prosper uh, in this situation. Because as the scripture says, it overturns and overturns, meaning that the people that are wealthy, a lot of wealthy people will lose their what? Wealth. Lose their wealth, and then those that didn't have any wealth will, will what? Will gain it. And as the scripture said, it said the wealth of the wicked are laid up for what? For what? For the jazz. That's right. So. They haven't got away with nothing. It's just that we're going through a turmoil and we're just trying to make you conscious of what's happening. This is not unique. This is not unique in history. It's happened before. All you're going to do is be able to arm yourself on a psychological and spiritual level to prepare for it. 
understand, this is not the end. This is the end of a system that has become corrupt through uh, these corrupt practices. So, uh, did, did you find out? Yeah. You can buy gold and silver at, at shop. Let me say this. I got some here. Show you how crazy things are. Tell me why a silver dollar, I mean, a regular silver, a 19, uh, uh, just take a, 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 19, six, a 1945 quarter. Tell me why it's worth $6. A twenty-five dollar, a twenty-five cent Sin. silver coin. It's ninety percent silver. You gotta come up with six of these. You gotta reserve it. You gotta hope it don't go to a hundred dollars. Because the silver was to go to a hundred dollars. That silver, that silver quarter was worth twenty-five dollars. And it get to the point at some point. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. You won't be able to buy nothing. You walk in the store and say, "Man, we ain't selling this yet." What you mean? I just say I ain't selling. You, you, you gotta come in and buy. The only thing they're gonna accept is some gold, silver, or some of what. Some of value. Of value. But we ain't accepting this. Because we have totally lost what? Everything. F A I what? T faith. what? Faith. Faith. You know, faith goes a long way, you know. Once people lose faith in a currency, once they lose faith in a, in a, in a partner, once you lose faith, it just it, it, that just about what? It's over with. Faith and trust. And, and that's the problem we have today as we look out in our communities. Nobody is telling, like some of these churches. Uh, uh, they are totally bankrupt some of these churches. A friend of mine tells me, he said, listen, you know that so-and-so church down there? They ain't paid their electric bill, gas bill, and, 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 and they ain't paid their mortgage. And any moment, while they're hoping prayer, the bankers will come and say, hold it! <laughs> praise Jesus! Well, we're going to praise him, but we're on this building now. Y'all going to have to go and cut the service off. Right now. <laughs> right now. Wow. They'll be paid. They're going to be what? They'll be embarrassed. They'll be embarrassed. And they don't took over God's church. You know, you're wondering, what in the world are these people going to do? So I'm saying that most of our organizations have not prepared the people. Now, when, when they, you do see this, they're mostly all white, uh, 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 the majority of them. But very few of us have failed to understand uh, the, the, how the system operates. And uh, and a couple of things I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to open it up. Anybody got any questions before? What I'd like to say is, then what, what's the solution is, is that you have to get a certain amount of your assets into silver or gold, whatever it is, preferably silver. Because silver, I told you, remember, the time of the Messiah, he was, he was sold for how much? 30 pieces silver. Of silver. Silver has always been the currency uh, that nations have used, and gold was always the, the metal for kings. That's when nations trade with one another. They're trading gold between one another, but when citizens are interchanged and barter with each other, uh, or with real money, they use silver. And that's what's going to be a currency, because if you got $7,000 gold, just say you go to $7,000, what are you going to do with that $7,000? Can you go to you know, a supermarket and buy anything with $7,000? No. See? So that, that's more or less for savings. So you're going to use silver, uh, uh, even if uh, silver went to, uh, gold went to, say, 10000 silver went to uh, $1,000, you still would have a, a quarter worth $250. But do you know how much a hamburger would cost? About $20. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Twenty, twenty-five dollars a pound. See, the poor people would be priced, priced out of the whole thing, and you got turmoil, you got confusion as a result of the system having to try to finally reset the system. And usually, what happens in a reset? You wake up one, 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 one uh, Saturday and say, you know what? We set up a new currency. For every uh, uh, ten dollars, every five uh, old dollars, you get one what? One dollar, one new you get, dollar. You get one new dollar. So if, 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 if it's, uh, uh, you know, so you can lose fifty percent of your money just like that, bam, just by decree. And what that would, what that would do is reduce the country's what? Debt. Debt and make it more manageable. But it would wipe you out because you don't have any income. You don't have nothing to offset that. Now there's many things that uh, there's many. Uh, um, uh, coin bills here in Chicago. There's some on the web. We give you a choice of where you should go. But I'll tell you one thing, it's, it's a question not if you're going to buy a silver gold, mm -hmm. it's when and at what price. And you can turn around here and it's at $20. We told people to buy it at six. Silver, it went from six to went to 50, it came back down to 25. We told people to buy it gold at, at uh, about 400, it went to 2,000. See, five times, you know, it's going to get crazy. Because listen, the wealthy are not going to let they wipe their wealth further away. 
uh, a certain percentage of it, and they're going to buy everything in gold and silver and set back and let the thing crash and come and buy everything up, and we're going to be their uh, 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 slaves. That's how it's going to be set up. And that's how it's been repeated throughout history. If you read that 47th chapter of Joseph, you can see then a man with foresight, a man that had become visionary, was able to do it. Now, uh, yeah, 47 in Genesis. Just read that chapter. And then when you read it, just think about what, what it applies today. You can find out that all the land was invented. Pharaoh wanted to own all the land. And currently all the homes are owned by what? Hold on one second. Go ahead. I just recently saw something on, I think it was CNN, that coffee is now the second highest trading commodity behind oil. How's that going to impact what you're talking about? That means that quality coffee? It just said coffee is the second highest trading that commodity. Means that, that, that means a little can of coffee you go in, what you pay for a pound, mm -hmm. you won't be able to buy a pound of coffee. It'll be what? And it'll be too high, so they cut it down to what? A half, half. a pound. Or either a quarter. And, you know, or a quarter pound. So you might eventually what's going to happen, at, at, at some point in time, you'll pay, a, a, you'll, you'll buy a quarter pound that, a quarter pound of coffee for, say, $15, $16 a pound. So can you use that in terms of investment? We're talking about gold and silver. What? It, does it make sense to make that okay, well, investment? Oh, oh yeah, you, you, listen, that's a, when this thing get crazy, I had a white friend of mine, he said, man, I got 100 pounds of uh, sugar in my, uh, in, in, my, in my garage. I said, you're a smart man. Because <laughs> everybody needs what? Sugar. Sugar. And you can't, you, you, it's very hard to find a four pound, a five pound uh, sugar. Or 10, and you can find it, but it, it got a point. It got a, people say, woo wee. See? See, but coffee is a commodity. Uh, it may have a bad year, but a lot of people, the wealthy people are buying commodities just to make sure that their money is able to, uh, what? To, to be able to maintain its purchasing power. So let me say, when I, when I say maintain purchasing power, let me mean this. Where is the penny candy at? Ain't done no more. See, you don't have a penny candy. You look at the candy bars, what we paid a nickel for is a dollar. He said, Stuff is crazy. You know, you can pay uh, 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 in your packet. Uh, did, did anybody remember the little piece of candy you have in your, uh, uh, we had the uh, blue, blue green pack, I mean the blue green uh, candy in your packet. Do you know what they want from that host, uh, 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 retail, wholesale? It's about a dollar and a quarter for that little bit. Of, they want two dollars for that little ounce of uh, blue green allergy uh, that has a lot of nutrition and stuff. They want two dollars for that little piece of candy. That goes to show you, it's not as big as a chunk it used to be. That's See, what I'm trying to show you is that the money you got is becoming worthless. That means that the price of everything is going up, and, and knowing that you can't buy a pound of anything, the price begins to, I mean, the size of the product begins to what? Decrease. The strength. It's hard to find, you, you go to the supermarket and look for, um, say you're looking for 16 ounces. You know, that was common nowadays. You go to you know, get camel soup, it says 14. So my wife, I said, this, ain't, this, this, this can't look as small. And as time goes on, it gets what? Smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller, but the price remains what? Same. Same. So you, so you can begin to see then, that's why one of the things that Pancha said, you have a lot of people growing gardens uh, and, 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 and throughout the city, uh, such as that they will not be able to buy food uh, at this current prices, and things will continue to go up. So what, what this does is two things. That forces, as the economic uh, pain increases, that's going to force people to live together, pull together, and pull their resources together to survive because they cannot no longer make it what? They're on their own. Uh, on their own. Why, why have 35, 35% uh, of the college students move back home? There's no what? Job. There's no job. This is all part of a, a meltdown of the destruction of the middle class. The largest debt in the country is for its consumers is college loans, and they owe $1 trillion. They have, there's more debt in college loans than there are credit cards. Now, how can somebody with, with no job no, and, and no assets no get all this money? Now, how are they going to pay it back at a salary, at a salary that's below the current, uh, the average salary in America is $50,000. Most college graduates are, 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 are doing about 35, 40. So, so you know you did what? Broke. 
And you mean you gotta live all, you better not get married, you better not have no children because you already got a college loan, and she may have a college loan. I mean, how you gonna pay for a house? How you gonna live in a car? So wait a minute, this stuff is stone what? Crazy, because that means they won't be able to buy anything. They'll be a perpetual debt slave uh, uh, to these bankers uh, as a result of this whole process. Any more questions? Give me a mic. Well, copper will be any any type of uh, pure copper will go crazy. That 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 the metals will be copper, silver, and gold. The, the metals will be and platinum. And platinum. You know, you got platinum there. Uh, those will be the four major. So so copper, the old copper pits. Uh, uh, I think it's eighty two and back. They're pure copper. Well, people will exchange those. But silver, uh, you can get a silver quarter now for, for, for about $5, uh, $6. I'll tell you about a quarter you can, because what's going to happen, I'm going to tell you. Uh, any one day, I have a mark up here. Any one day, if I ask you how much gold do they have wholesale, in any one day, you know how rich America is, there's only $750 million. I didn't say big, there's only $750 million dollars of, of, of precious metals on any one day in the market. That's all that, that, all that exists is $750 million. So if there's a panic overnight, that whole supply of what? Gold. So $750 million has to buy out the whole thing. The whole thing is gold. There is no gold or silver to be found. Folks are running around crazy. You got the gold, you got the silver. I pay double what it is. That's how crazy it's going to get because money is what? Fail. Fail, and, it, and everybody is totally terrified of holding this because they won't at least be able to have an asset that will increase in price and not depreciate. And that's what you have here. And certain neighborhoods just bad, just, just like in, the, in, in uh, Detroit. Other neighborhoods will kind of survive. And those that have the uh, wherewithal will be able to rebuild those communities uh, 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 in, in that. If you go back to uh, 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 Black Wall Street, the Economic Times, they were able to, they had, they had assets that generated cash revenue. And people became jealous, that's what I'm saying, is that that's what you, the communities will come together, people will pull together and survive uh, 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 and, and rebuild. It's, it's not the end, you just have to have another reset. You have to have a plan, as Secure said in the first, uh, opening uh, this morning, if you missed that, we'll have it on DVD. But those are the things, that, everything here, let me say this, in 1932, uh, uh, when President uh, Roosevelt, FDR came in, he said, fear, you have nothing but fear, you have nothing but fear, but what? Fear. Fear itself. Fear is an paralyzing force, folks. That's what we're trying to, we're trying to prepare for. This is what's coming. This is how to prepare for it. Uh, uh, this is what the skills you need. Uh, uh, there will always be things that you need that you can trade. Uh, in exchange for these metals, because uh, uh, there will be services that need to be done. <coughs> Are there any other uh, questions? Does precious stones fall in here? The problem with precious stones that it goes along with the grade. You have to know what the, what type of silver, uh, metals, or diamonds are investment grade. Uh, they're rare colors like yellow and bluish. You got to go somewhere when you walk into a gasoline station. Uh, 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 something and you want to bottle it, you want to bottle it something that, that fairly everybody has a what? A knowledge of. A knowledge of. And see, people have a knowledge of, uh, I thought I had something here, too. Uh, uh, silver. Everybody knows about the old silver coins. Anybody that's 50 or 60 is known. And you can tell the difference about, wait a minute, I think I have. Oh, yeah, I have it right here. This here is 250, this is two half dollars. 1916. Uh, 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 two and a half dollars. This is 19, what? This is 1918. This thing here costs, you know, $10. Each. Each. You know, maybe two, and they say, yeah, yeah. And some may be 15. Because the two of these, uh, you know, a silver dollar is about 30, 35 dollars. One silver dollar. <coughs> so here you, you got a, the coins. I can, at some point or another, things get crazy. You can walk in the guy and say, oh, this is 1918. I know what it is because they got it on the internet. Well, how, what, what do you want for it? I want X amount of uh, gasoline. You can trade it for anything because this is the only thing that's going to stand the time, you know, the, 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 the 
time. So anytime you can, you can see that you got a silver dollar here and it costs $10 to buy it, people you know, can't compute. You mean to tell me I got a, it's like 20 or 30 times its face value? Yeah, because that means that paper money is what? Yeah. It, it, it's reckless. This is why we told people, you won't be able to get those coins at some point or another. Because everybody will buy them up and everybody will say, you know, I gotta, I gotta feed my children. That's why we told people to get this stuff now, and at some point, another, total faith will be lost in the dollar. And uh, that would be the situation. Now, let me real quick, I know people, uh, I don't want to stay here too long. We, we want people to, uh, T and I, uh, uh, but somebody wanted me to stay up here two hours. You have to come to these meetings on every third Sunday. they free. What about the free economic uh, after hours on um, third Sunday? Every third Sunday, they're free. We come in, we used to charge a lot. We used to charge $25, $50. We say, you know what? Time is so short, we don't need your money. It's just like this session here. People, for whatever reason, don't come. But like you say, words of truth are the value of now. What you're going to do with, this, with, with, with the truth is what's scarce. And it cannot be found. And people were running thither and hither for somebody to tell them the truth of what they should be doing or what they should be doing. Uh, I don't have time to go real quick to uh, uh, It's seven minutes, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is just put uh, uh, standing in line, not to watch Michael Jackson. They're not watching the money. This is not a concert. They're not all standing in line. Jay-Z is on. It's not a Jay-Z. They're not standing in line. That's what they're standing in line for. What? Gold. Ten thousand. That's all they buy. Because in the Chinese culture, gold, you know, when they have weddings or in India, they don't give what? Toasters? They don't give sheets? See what I'm saying? The, the, the bride is showered with what? Gold. Gold. And that's what we have here today. Uh, uh, look, at they got their children here. So when the reset comes, who's going to be worse off? The Chinese, the average Chinese, or the average American? See, the average Chinese is going to be able to ride the storm out, and the average American will be totally devastated. Now, he'll live to go on, but it'll be in a, a sort of impoverished, impoverished, or halfway in power state, depending on whether the father will have mercy on her and be able to uh, 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 work and exchange and barter for these, for these items. So that's what I want to end on. Is there any questions? That's just some detail. I can tell you where a coin, store, a coin shop here in the, uh, the city. You can go online uh, to buy. Uh, there's a place called Appmex, A P M E X. For those of you that are want to be uh, do it on a monthly basis as a, as a company called Silver Savior, like Saver. Like you save your coins, you can, you can put away $50 a month and they'll save up real currency, uh, real silver, and you can give it back uh, uh, once you get 20 ounces of silver. They just send it to you. Uh, there's other ways you can do it. All you want to do is get as much as you can while you can, because as the system begins to fall, it gets very chaotic. And usually in chaos and social terms, uh, social terms, Turbulence. Turbulence. Uh, leaders are assassinated. You know, F the FBI almost got assassinated. They killed uh, uh, Sermat. So, uh, as I told people, I'd hate to be a bomber in this situation. Get crazy. Because folks go what? Mad. Mad when they money. When they, listen, in America, your social status is based on one thing. What? How much money you got? A friend of mine said, well, I'm going to Africa. I said, wait a minute. I said, how much money you got, Negro? Because listen, they don't have no food stamps over there. No and no wig program. You don't work, you don't what? You don't eat. Eat. So I said, I said, unless you go over there with, with some type of skill, uh, 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 something that you're going to do, but you just run over there without anything, well, you better off here. 